what's up guys this is the second workout video full workout that i've recorded so it's a lower body power day let's go um so uh i've been kind of stuck i've been up to 345 and if for one set of five and it felt easy and i've been down to three 35 and that felt good um, but lately I've just been feeling really weird um, my squats haven't been feeling good so I've, I'm gonna scale back to 315 which is what you see here for three sets of five so uh, actually I've never really recorded myself squatting from the side I usually get an angle just to just because I like to see that um, that angle but I'm probably gonna start recording from the sides just because I could see if I lean forward or not. Um, because it really felt like I was leaning leaning forward on most of my squats. But now looking at the video, they all look pretty good. Uh, they just, some of them look like a grind. Um, so we got a different angle here, 315 as well. We didn't record the last set, but this is the second set. So going for five again. So it felt really good going into this day. Not sure exactly why. Um, I didn't, it's not like I ate a lot before. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure exactly, but just, just felt really good this day. In between some of the, as you can see like this one, in between some of the reps, it takes me a while to you know, kind of catch my breath again and go at it. So I think between four and five, yeah, that was a grind. So between like four and five, it was I was just breathing real heavy and <laughs> trying to get my head back in the game, you know. So this is going to be the fifth rep right here. Yeah, so see like that kind of a grind, like it felt like I was leaning all the way forward, but now that I see it on video, it's actually not that bad. So uh, from there, I move on to hack squats, moving on to hack squats, so two sets of 10. So this is my lower body power day, I'm not sure if I already mentioned that, but I'm going for six plates for two sets of 10. So I've done this before, and uh, I've done a lot lower, it just kind of depends on how I don't know how I feel. Um, this particular exercise is, uh, I don't know, it's just one I, uh, I kind of, it's weird. It's a love-hate relationship. I never look forward to it, but after I get those first few reps out, you know, I feel fine. Um, but uh, yeah, I wear knee wraps on this particular exercise just because I, I don't know, I've been injured uh, one too many times before, and I feel like if I go up too fast, I could really hyperextend my shit. And uh, like hyperextend my knees, and I don't want to do that. So my stance is different than most people's stance on this on the hack squat. Um, I like to stay fairly close, as you could see. And uh, yes, and try not, to, and I don't bottom out. So I used to slam it on the bottom and kind of bounce back up. Um, which worked fine, it helped my strength, um, but just kind of took someone else's advice, tried it for a few weeks and I liked it, which uh, I guess this is a Tom Platt's, you know who he is, Tom Platt's style of how he used to hack squat. So really close, pretty narrow, and basically I go all the way down to where my hamstring touches my calves and then explode back up. <clears throat> So I've noticed that helps with the with the teardrop in your quads, and this is a really good exercise to help actually with my squats. So I notice when I don't move here, uh, I'm moving up in squats and vice versa. I think get eight right here. I think Sid, the cameraman, right now. I think he yells at me, which is good. Uh, I couldn't hear him because <laughs> I got my headphones blaring, but. Uh, you know, it's good to be around people that have uh, the same or very similar goals that you do. You guys get to push each other. 
push that shit. But yeah, I just get stuck right there. Feels like I was <laughs> felt like I was stuck for like 20 seconds when you're in that moment. So now we're doing we're going on the leg extensions. So I do two sets of go for two sets of six to ten. I just put ten. I just write down ten, guys. Like um, just I put that in my head. I got the rack and the 45. Um, I put that in my head just uh, you know kind of psych myself out. If I need to if I need to write it or scratch it out, then I will. But for me, it's a big mental thing. Like I just write it down and it's done. You know. Um, so now I think this is a stiff legged. I think I'm finally figuring out the difference between this and a Romanian. I got my camera set up and uh, this kid that's about to walk in front of it, he saw me setting up the camera for about five minutes to try to get the right angle. So uh, he walks right in front of it and yeah, I just stare at him <laughs> because I'm so frustrated because I know he saw it, but uh, you know, kids will be kids. What are you going to do? I don't know. He's puffing up his chest and thinks he's big, but you know, whatever. Anyway, uh, so we're doing stiff leggeds. I'm going for so I got what do I have on here? I got two, two forty five, um, and I'm going for three sets of five to eight. Like I just mentioned, I just write down eight, so I got three sets of eight on this one. Um, I'm not sure because this is the first time I've actually done it like this. Um, maybe the second week, but I'm not sure if I like this better or Romanians. I might switch back to Romanians, but I'll try this out for a couple more weeks and see see how I like it. <clears throat> but I don't feel it as much as my hamstrings. I feel it more in my lower back. So I think I already, I only recorded two sets of this as well. So this the this leg day besides the upper body power day is another uh, long day, um, but it's just because um, I do so many warm up sets for like my squats and hack squats to to get to my actual working sets, um, because uh, you know I don't I don't want to risk any injury or feel weird, or, uh, but I, I've also noticed when I do that I I, um, I usually lift heavier for my working sets. So we're going on to uh, lying leg curls, getting two sets of 10. I got 155. You can see towards the end, I don't really close that last, that little gap. Um, so I only recorded one. And then my phone was dying, guys, so I didn't really get to get both exercises, but I finished with uh, seated and standing calf raises for the lower body power day. <coughs> So I'll give you both angles. So I got, um, I'm gonna see the calf, I got 105 on there. So uh, Probably not the most impressive weight, but I feel like my calf development is decent. Um, other than my injury. Uh, but yeah, a lot of people, you'll see like people stacking the weight and and then they just are just moving it and they're, you know, it's, it's scary to watch because I'm, I'm ready to see someone's Achilles rip or something. It's, it's sad. It's, I don't want that to happen, but it just looks like that's going to happen. Um, the way some people move, the way some people move it. But, um, yeah, that being said, uh, it's just good to, um, you know, you want to move up in weight, obviously, but never sacrifice your form. Um, that's just always been, I don't know, it's just always something in my, in the back of my head, never sacrifice your form for the weight, but easier said than done, and, uh, you know, we're all guilty of it, myself included, but other than that, thanks for watching, guys, um, see you guys on the next video.